That was supposed to be satisfying. Absolutely dingy. Hi, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we bought this house about eight months ago, I think. And it is a very old and small house, um, but it works for us. The only major thing that we knew we needed to change when we bought it was the kitchen. Because the house basically didn't have a kitchen. <laughs> um, there was just a sink and a faucet. Um, I'll show you guys, but um, yeah, it just wasn't great at all. We wanted to renovate it as soon as we had the budget and we could. We did have to wait a couple months and we just worked with what we have. But now it's time to start the renovation. I'm super excited. Okay, so this is how the kitchen currently looks. Absolutely dingy and <laughs> disgusting and dirty. Um, we basically had no cabinets when we came here and the sink and the faucet were already here. This is my stove. We're not changing it, but we're getting a new um, sink and faucet. And this kitchen basically wasn't really a kitchen. Um, and at some point, a couple of years ago, I guess, they brought piping through that little corner and created this little section and this is the only piping water that's in this kitchen we've just put our fridge our stove and our appliances just anywhere we could for the time being um until we could obviously renovate and add cabinets and yeah this is a contact paper that i've added just to protect the wall a little bit but as you can see all those areas are just um, cracking and peeling and um, that's from all the water that's gotten down there. Basically the only thing that we've done so far is add this little section to the bottom of the windows um, because the window was um, super tall and it came all the way to the floor so we basically couldn't have any cabinets here and I wanted cabinets so um, we've just shortened our window so basically we had this area for more cabinets we're gonna have this pipe here move into the wall and we're gonna start on the plumbing and pipes and all those things that i don't even know how to do and we're gonna have um someone do them for us but yeah these two are the first things that we're gonna do so the walls in the kitchen are actually plaster which, um, I mean, I guess it depends on your environment, but here they don't do plaster in the kitchens. They always do tile because it's way more sturdy and water and moisture don't ruin tile. And we've already had some damage on the walls because of the water issues um, and water leaking to the plaster and a big chunk of the plaster actually just fell off a while ago. And since the plaster is super old, it's kind of some areas, I guess, is separating from the wall um, and it makes it dangerous um, for installing the cabinets, the upper cabinets. So there is literally a risk of the cabinet just falling off. We don't want to risk that. So we're just going to be tiling all the walls, changing the floor tile. Okay, that was supposed to be satisfying. <laughs> a very professional um, safety situation here. If you couldn't tell from the previous clip, we're demoing the walls ourselves, which isn't really ideal, um, but just things just changed and we have to do this. So what happened is we were just supposed to kind of just make the space um, for that pipe to go inside the wall and someone was supposed to come here and do that for us 
And then this is our old curtain, just ruined completely. But um, I was supposed to change that, so I don't really mind that. And anyways, create that little area for new pipes. Um, but what happened is that the person who was supposed to come today couldn't make it. And he's going to be here in a couple of days. And if you were to wait for him to come and do that and then demo the walls and all that, we would be late for our tile person who's supposed to come and tile. So in order to just be on time and be on the schedule, we had to demo the walls today. And there wasn't anyone available for today. So we just kind of decided to do it ourselves. And this is where we're at. We have a lot more to do. So... Fingers crossed, we can finish the walls today. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this was probably the only area of the kitchen that I actually liked, and I'm sad it's gonna go. Um, there was a window between the kitchen and the room that was on the other side of the wall. So, and because we didn't have any cabinets, any um, storage or anything like that, I just had this shelving thing made um, very temporarily, but it worked really nicely and I'll put a picture somewhere. Um, I just styled it with a couple of pretty things and I really liked it, but unfortunately this one has to go as well. This is the window I was telling you about. Currently we have our fridge on the other side, but in the past we've always had stuff behind the window and this side obviously had the shelving unit and somehow I've never looked at these glasses and this is the first time I'm seeing them and I really really like this one this one is super old as well they both they both are um, but they each have a different pattern this one's broken but I really like this one I don't know what it is about it I've never ever seen this pattern anywhere before there's something about this one I really hope that I can somehow repurpose it, use it somewhere else. Yesterday we finished that window, we covered it all up. Um, it's just kind of sad, I don't know, I really like that window, but we had to do it. Um, I didn't film because it was too late and dark, but yeah, this is the window gone. Okay, I was really hopeful that we were gonna finish this whole room in one day. But I think it's day like four. I'm not even, I don't even remember anymore. Um, and we're still working on it. Um, we are still on schedule, so it's good. But it's been a lot of work, um, a lot of muscle work. And there's a lot of details that we need to keep in mind. We have gotten rid of all the white layer of the plaster and most of the muddy layer. There are bits here and there, which is fine. These are okay. But as you can see, these little areas, these are another layer of plaster. And the muddy one is fine, but this one isn't. Um, and I don't know why, but some areas have three layers of plaster. Some had two. But the areas that have this one, we need to remove this as well. And this one is actually very time consuming. Like this is super hard and like just hard to get rid of. So we basically just have to go through the whole space again and find all the areas that have um, like that little corner there. And we have to find all those, just get rid of those ones. I know this doesn't look like much, but we have plumbing here. This is where our sink is going to go, and that's where the dishwasher is going to go. I've used the old curtain to <laughs> close that hole for now. And that pipe over there is fixed. I know this looks pretty much the same, but as you can see at that corner, the pipe has been pushed kind of inside the wall, um, just so... We have enough space to cover it up with the, you know, tiles. And here we even have, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a gap here. 
um, that this is gonna go inside of like that and then the tile is just gonna cover it all up and we won't see it anymore I know most of this episode was just boring demo stuff um, but we did visit a tile place tile shop They have a lot of options, but these are the most simple ones. I think I'm gonna go with the simple white one, just because I want just like a simple background. I don't want anything loud or crazy. Um, I want something that you're barely gonna notice that there's tile there. These larger ones are the floor tiles. I think again, I'm gonna go with this one probably because I just want something simple again for the floor as well um, just the warm light creamy color with minimal waning at first we came here just to select tile for the floors and the walls but I'm seeing so many cute options here I'm thinking maybe we should do our backsplash in I don't know like something like this this is gonna be way more affordable than Zalish and I think it's cute. While we were there, I also decided to kind of just explore and see what um, backsplash options there were. The Zalish is my original plan, um, but I am kind of open to seeing different options. I know this episode wasn't super exciting. It was mostly just demoing, boring stuff, but definitely make sure to come back next week. We're gonna have tiles. We're getting an arch installed. Next week is gonna be more exciting. And I hope to see you again. Bye.